40 year old holiday tradition kicked off this week. Fantasy of Trees is the largest fundraiser for East Tennessee Children's Hospital with hundreds of trees for sale. All the money made goes towards making sure children have the medical equipment they need. Aaron Velasquez has been checking it all out for us this morning. He's already got his face painted. You got some cool ornaments. Good morning. Good morning, Heather. Yeah, we just made these. Natalie and I, these are, are going to be our Christmas ornaments. I'm so excited to be able to take these home and put them on our tree. But Natalie, we're going to be doing something based off Becca's suggestion. We heard you back there, Becca. Tell us a little bit about this craft that we're doing. So these are our handprint pot holders, which is also a staple. I think we've had 37 years of these maybe. So I'm going to paint your hand and you're going to put it on there. Take it to your mama. OK, all right. Turn your hand over right. for me. <laughs> So these are just one of the many crafts that you can do out here to get kids involved. Yes, it's one of these. Like I said, we have a lot of staples, a lot of traditions, and then there's a lot of new uh, crafts. We have uh, brick ornaments this year. That's a new thing for us. Um, so we, like I said, we like to change it up a little bit, but we have to bring back those pieces of nostalgia. My mom still has probably 20 of these in her house as well. So um, those mamas, they need those little memories to get out every year for Christmas. Um, so one more thing, and then we'll turn it over so your hands a little bit bigger than typically of what we put on here but I think it's gonna work just fine all right are you ready yeah. I think this tradition is super <laughs> awesome because you know you have families that come back every year to do this stuff and they have ornaments and handprints that date back you know the decades that this has been running yes I have I, I have these for over 30 years myself I have my sister-in-law has not missed a single thumbprint ornament in 40 years there you go here you are. <laughs> Check that out. I got a new pot holder that I'm definitely going to be used during my cooking and all of it supporting a great cause. Absolutely. We depend on every single dollar that comes back from this event to support the children at East Tennessee Children's Hospital. We are so grateful for something fun to do, but also really uh, rewarding for our for our uh, patients. Thank you for letting me take part in all these arts and crafts. Be sure to come out, bring your families. The Fantasy of Trees will be open today from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. It'll also be here at the convention center through this Sunday. Get in the Christmas spirit. Of course, we'll send it back to you in the studio. Heather, and I hope Becca likes the uh, pot holder I made. Oh, she loves it. you got to give that to your mom. You know, we still have all of the thumbprint ornaments that she was talking about, too, from my girls. I just love this. Thank you very much, Erin.